My name is Dr. Chan. I'm Dean of Admissions here at the University of Utah School of Medicine. Today I'm going to talk about felonies, misdemeanors, and institutional action. If the, any of these occurred, how do you document this? How do you communicate this to medical schools that you're applying to? So first of all, let's just take it from MCAS. This is in their instructional manual. Medical schools understand that many individuals learn from the past and emerge stronger as a result. Full disclosure will enable the medical schools to more effectively evaluate this information within the context of your credentials. All right. So I'm going to use two examples, both honor code and alcohol citation. So let's pretend uh, during undergrad um, you were accused of cheating. There was a plagiarism violation. And this was notified, and the dean of students got involved, and you had to go to front of a, a peer court or something. And it was ultimately dismissed, but you had to do x, y, and z. You need to write that in your MCAS prime application. Alcohol citation. Let's pretend as an undergrad uh, you were caught using alcohol in the dorms when there's expressly no alcohol in the dorm policy. All right, You received a ticket, alcohol citation. How do you document it? All right. So first of all, you have 1,325 characters to explain what happened in the AMCAS primary application. So you would check felonies to mis misdemeanors, institutional action, and then you have a box to write about it. Use all of this space. This is the time to show remorse. This is the time to show that you learned the lesson. This is the time to document clearly that you've moved past this. You use it as a growing experience. Don't just list this and then move on, OK? So what happens? If you do get accepted, everyone gets a background check. All medical schools do this, and this looks for felonies and misdemeanors. We also, at our medical school, we issue something called the Dean Certification Form. This is unique to our medical school, but it's growing with other schools. This is like an academic background check. So if you've had any problems with campus, classroom, or dormitory behavior that led to an institutional action, like plagiarism, like an example, this would show up on a Dean Certification Form. Both of these need to match what you originally put into the MCAS primary application. Okay. As a general principle, medical schools do not like to be surprised. It appears you're not being honest or transparent with the missions committee. Are you misrepresenting yourself? This puts doubt into other aspects of your entire application. Let's do a quick example. Same thing, alcohol ticket. Number one, I was cited for alcohol intoxication at a university party. I completed 20 hours of community service but never was cited again by campus police. Number two, I was cited for alcohol intoxication at a university party. I appeared before a Greek council. I felt shame because this is not who I am. I completed 20 hours of community service, but also spoke at others' events about the dangers of alcohol poisoning. Though this was a very embarrassing event for myself, I hope the committee can see by my application that this was a single isolated occurrence. Which one looks better to a mission committee member? Obviously number two, okay? So first of all, I hope none of you out there have experienced any felonies, misdemeanors, or institutional actions. If you have, that you've grown from those experiences, you move past them, and that you can document and talk about those well on your medical school application. Thank you.